All right, welcome back to Better Kansas City. We are out in the garage here today because there's a lot of myths about your car, it seems like. You know, we're trying to figure out which ones are true, which ones aren't. We have Matt, or Master Auto Mechanic Robert Sokol with us today. Welcome back uh, to the show, sir. Thank we appreciate you, thank you being you. here. Let's start with one of the things we do just about every week, putting gas in our car. Now, I don't know about you, but like there's three different choices on the pump when I pull up there. You know, there's premium, regular, and just unleaded gas. Which one should I be using? Should I really be using premium for my everyday get around car? Well, a lot of people think that premium is going to clean your engine. You get better performance with it and not true. It's not true. <laughs> not true. Uh oh. Use whatever your manufacturer suggests for your vehicle. Uh, if it suggests 87 octane, mm -hmm. use that. If you use the 91, it's just going to get blown out the exhaust with no yeah. benef no benefit whatsoever. And I mean, those those higher octane fuels are for some of those more performance geared vehicles, though, right? So if you're driving your sports car, it might call for this that. one. Actually, requires 91. Okay, and this is a nice little Acura you have here as yeah. well. So very fast car. Oh, you can outrun me. But <laughs> let's let's speak it fast, real fast. Okay. I know because this is one of the questions. My speedometer goes up to 135 miles an hour. That's a fast car. Will my car go 135 well, miles an hour downhill with tailwind? <laughs> unfortunately not. Okay. <laughs> Should I try? Well, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't work. Okay. The um, computers on the cars are preset by the factory mm -hmm. to a specific, my, uh, specific uh, speed. Um, most of them are right around 88, 89 miles an hour. It's as fast as you'll go. And if you try to go faster, the engine starts cutting out. Yeah. It purposely does that. They don't want you going any faster they than that. They don't want you going faster than that. Well, the tires and everything are designed for oh, all, yeah. a certain speed. And they don't want you to get, you get dangerous if you start going faster than that. Exactly. And let's talk about some of this cold weather. You know, people want to warm their cars up. I know one thing that cold weather can really have effect on is your battery, right? So is it really important for us to, to let our cars warm up before we start driving them here in the winter? You don't have to let the car warm up. These cars, yeah. where the old cars with the choke, and you mm -hmm. had to play with the choke to get the car just right. These are, the computers control everything. You turn your car, go. Yeah, then turn your car and go. Start go. your car and go. Okay, excellent. Well, what other things do we need to know about? What are some other of those common, you know, myths that uh, you, you've heard from your customers? Right now, a popular one is starting your car and walking away from it, and people think that's illegal. Okay. Well, what's actually illegal is taking your key starting your car and walking away from it. That oh. is, that's illegal. That part is illegal. Okay. But if you have a remote start and you start your car up with a remote start, that is legal. And oh. you can leave your car unoccupied, locked up, but start it with your remote start. And that's legal both in Kansas and Missouri. Okay. And another one that I know I've heard before is with your cell phone, not while you're driving, but while you're fueling your car, if you have a cell phone that can be a fire hazard. Is that true? I do a lot of arsons. You do a lot of what? Arsons. Okay. <laughs> and there has not been one case of a cell phone starting a, a fire yeah. while, fuel, while fuel, fueling your car. Okay. It well, doesn't happen. Well, we appreciate your time today trying to put, uh, put to rest some of those myths out there. We appreciate your time, Mr. Robert Sokol, Master Auto Mechanic. Back into you, Ms. Belinda.